Hey there, we're back. This time we're going to work on 3.2 number 31. So let's go look at the problem. All right, they have the number of miles you're able to drive on 10 gallons of gas for two different cars. And we're supposed to describe each data set that is determined the shape, center, and spread. All right, so let's go back and look at the data. All right, I think let's start with the center. The center, there are two measures of center that we use a lot there's the what the Excel calls average which is a terrible word because technically there are lots of averages but that's okay what it means is the mean so when you type average in Excel what you're asking is for is the arithmetic mean let me type that actually mean and bold and make it oh let's make it green that doesn't hurt anything alright so there we go so now we've got the mean for the two data sets now that's a measure of center. There is another measure of center which we also like called the median and the formula for that is median. No I'm not kidding. So median of this data from A, excuse me, B2 colon B16 and close my parentheses enter and I wanted you to see you don't have to sit there and type it twice you can actually grab the handle and drag it left and it will find the median for both data sets for you. I want to bold these, control B, and I'm gonna make them, ah, let's make them orange, that's fine. Oh, that's an ugly combination. Ugh. Sorry, I can't let that stand. How about we do blue? <laughs> there, that's much prettier. Alright, next, we need measures of spread. Now there are two main measures of spread that we need to know how to find. We need to know how to find the standard deviation. Oops, I'm going to make that bigger so you can see it. And the variance. Now luckily the formulas for finding both of these are really simple. Equals STDEV. Now before I do anything I want you to see there's two of them here. Well there's four. The only two that matter to you are the STDEV and the STDEV P. Alright, STDEV is the S standard deviation, the sample standard deviation. In other words, these 15 mileages that we got out of 10 gallons of gas are just a sample for what this car is capable of. STDEVP is sigma. It looks like O with a little tail on the end of it. And it's the standard deviation for a population. Let's say these were the only 15 scores that were ever going to exist for this car. Now obviously that's not very realistic for most data sets. It is realistic for some data sets, say like, oh, I don't know, the age and inauguration of all the presidents, for example. Well, that would be STDEVP because there was only 44 of them and that's it. Wow, look at that. This guy has a much larger standard deviation. Isn't that interesting? So how did I do that? Well, I just dragged it across. Grab the handle and drag it. There we go, and now we got the standard deviation over here. Now for variance, let me type that equals VAR. And again, there's four of them, but the only one that matters to you is VAR and VARP. VAR is the equivalent of S squared. It's the sample standard deviation squared. VARP is sigma squared. We don't work with VARP very often because most of the time we don't have the actual data set. The, excuse me, the entire data set. All there is, the entire population. I don't have to type it again. What am I thinking? I can click up here, move to the handle, and drag it across. There we go. Now I'm going to bold these and make them, I don't know, how about purple? And, oh, no, that's too minty. Better do that again. Yes, I spend an inordinate amount of time with colors. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we found center, we found spread. Now, how is the distribution shaped? You can do a histogram of each of these, which we learned how to do in Chapter 2. Or you can kind of compare the mean and the median and tell me what you think. For example, these two look like it's pretty symmetric for car 1. But car 2 looks like it might be skewed right because the mean is significantly higher than the median. So that's the kind of argument you'd make. And now which one's better? That's a judgment call, but you'll have to defend whichever answer you give. All right, we're done with 3-2. Next time, we'll move on to 3-3.